ShireSociety.com. Manchester, New Hampshire, September 8th, 2013. When uh, 150 or so people say they're going to be there on Facebook, or maybe going to be there, oh, yeah, this tends to be about all you really get. This is the anti-Syria war protest. So far, it looks like about... Uh... <laughs> Facebook, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Sorry, you're in the middle of an interview. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, between two online cushions and up. That's what I would say. Uh, anyway, like I say, say uh, it seems like about half the folks here are free staters. And uh, this is about what you're seeing is a crowd of about 20, which is uh, maybe 20 minutes after the event is scheduled. I'm standing here with State Rep John Heichel. I'm sorry that microphone is kind of in the picture. It's kind of <laughs> ugly, but it'll keep the wind noise down. Um, the um, uh, you're a Republican, correct? I sure am. But you, you, uh, I mean, Republicans are normally associated with being a little more uh, in favor of military action. But uh, what what, drew, what what makes this one different for you, or or is it different? Well, I don't know if all Republicans are in favor of military action. Um, not certainly one of them. Um, I'm kind of. Uh, confused about why we would want to bomb Syria, why we would want to interfere with their civil war. I think the region is unstable enough and if we're going to do anything we should negotiate and be as diplomatic as possible uh, even though they are some pretty bad people including Assad. And I think the other part of this that nobody's talking about is to strengthen the Lebanese army which is a neighbor because right now they're getting a huge amount of Syrian refugees pouring into to, to Lebanon and those are going to be the people that are going to be included uh, with uh, as, as taking over Lebanon even farther than they have already. Um, so I think it's very important that we strengthen the neighboring countries and diplomatically uh, remove uh, Assad uh, without bombing. Well, now, that would cost taxpayer dollars, too, though. I mean, what do you think should happen to me if I don't want to pay for that either? Well, I don't... <laughs> uh, I think something's going to happen, so I think the best thing that we can do is not look like warmongering country uh, in, the, in a place where they already think we are. And I think this needs to be handled diplomatically. Something's going to happen. Something... The, the area needs to... should be stabilized. Um, and who do they always call? They call the United States. Um, they don't, you don't see Russian embassies getting blown up around the world because they aren't going to go in there and negotiate anything. They so maybe we shouldn't either. <laughs> well, maybe we shouldn't. I, you know, maybe we shouldn't either. But I think, I think United States. Sometimes when you're the biggest and the, the biggest and the most influential, sometimes a lot of responsibility comes with that to help out uh, nations that are struggling. And this may be the time. But I don't think it's time for war to be dropping bombs on any country that doesn't, uh, that isn't attacking the United States uh, and our and our uh, security, national security. All right, thanks, John. Thank you. Appreciate it. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire. The Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.